Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Cookie Case Touch for the iPod Touch fourth generation. This case sells for $34.99, and it features a combination of polycarbonate and aluminum. It's also available in two different color variations, the clear version, which I have here, or an all black version as well. Before I crack open the box, just take note on the back, there is some information about the case itself. It's very slim, adding only about three millimeters of overall bulk to the iPod Touch. It also features physical button extensions, which I'll show you. Those just kind of make it uh, easier to operate the iPod Touch buttons. If you've used the iPod Touch fourth generation, you might be aware that those buttons are pretty recessed, and I think this case does make it a little bit easier to use them. And again, it features a combination of polycarbonate and brushed anodized aluminum around the edge. So let's crack open the packaging and I'll show you the case up close. It doesn't come with a screen shield, you just get the case itself, which for $34.99 seems a little bit expensive to me, um, but you know, it is what it is. You can see it has this clear back that is semi-translucent so you can see kind of the Apple logo when I put it on you'll see that now uh, if you opt for the all black version you won't be able to see the Apple logo shining through at all now like polycarbonate this case is going to scratch it already has some scratches on it and I've hardly really even used it but I think that's just something you have to learn to live with if you're going to use a clear poly polycarbonate style case before I put it on you can see the aluminum band that runs all the way around the edge really kind of mimics the look of the iPhone 4 quite nicely and then just take a look inside there and you can see the button extensions that will allow you the you know nice amount of feedback that you're going to get when you press them so let's slap the iPod touch fourth generation in here kind of put it in like you put in a snap-on back cover case and it goes in just like so you don't get much lay on the table design with this virtually none unfortunately um, but that helps keep it awfully slim again on the back you get that full see-through look so you can see the iPod and the Apple logo shining through there's a nice cutout for the camera lens and the microphone lines up absolutely perfectly the bottom is fully cut out, so you have full access to the 30-pin connector, the headset jack, and the main speaker. On the side here, you can see these physical buttons that give you rather nice feedback when you press them. It also makes it more flat. Like I mentioned, one of my big kind of complaints about the iPod Touch 4th G, especially when it comes to the sleep awake button, is it's kind of recessed. And if you're used to using the iPhone 4 where the button is flat, sometimes you're pressing there when the on the iPod Touch, it's kind of back here. So this just puts that button up in a more upright position and makes it easier, in my opinion, to press. And again, same goes for the volume button buttons as well. Again, it's a pretty nice looking case. Is it worth $34.99? I think it is. It's pretty slick design. Um, I really like, again, the positions of these buttons and the way that it makes it feel and look a little bit more like the iPhone 4 in design. Kind of wish this was a little bit more closed off. Maybe individual cutouts down here. I'm just not liking this unfinished look. Kind of like you guys have heard me talk about snap-on back covers when they leave the entire top and the entire bottom open. I'm not a fan of that style either. But understand you know that's to allow for easy access to all the ports and connections on the bottom so the cookie case is pretty cool case i haven't reviewed a lot of ipod touch fourth generation cases but i think i'm going to start using this one again i'm really liking the way that it mimics the look of the iphone 4 and offers these buttons that really make it more usable for me so if you have any questions about the cookie case i'll put a link in the video description where you can learn more about it and you know you can always drop me a line as well with any questions otherwise you have a great day.